Hey guys, welcome to Total Evelyn. So hang about, I'm going to be interviewing the lovely Josh Littlejohn. And if you don't know who that is, he is the founder of Social Bite for homeless in Scotland. Now, please join me after the break. Subscribe, like, share and all that jazz. I get around for saying that. But anyway, subscribe, like and share and I'll see you shortly. And also, you know, the Social Bite Board, it's been quite an interesting journey so far, but I think we're on the right track, I think we're getting there now. So uh, thank you to you all for your support, and uh, hopefully we'll have a new restaurant, because it's got much better than this. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you again. To see you again. <laughs> when I met Josh last time I was here, yeah. and you were interviewing... Um, a beautiful person. I always forget her name actually. Malala. Malala. And it's very difficult to go and you please. Mal uh, Malala Yousafzai. Yes. So that's how we met. But tonight we are at Vesta mm -hmm. and it's David Hall's um, bar and kitchen. Mm -hmm. And a lot of goodies here, like lots of promotions going on. Mm -hmm. And what's it all about? Tell me please. Uh, well tonight we're sort of relaunching the restaurant. Uh, so Vesta is a restaurant by David Hall. Um, it's sort of a social bite venture where uh, people can pay it forward and buy an item of a hot meal or a two course dinner or a, a cup of coffee for someone who's homeless and the restaurant opens up every Monday for homeless people to come and get something for free and um, but you know as well as that it's a really beautiful venue we've had an amazing architect called Jim Hamilton in who's kind of uh, redesigned the place it's much more bar orientated now nice. Beautiful, nice. yeah. Um, great drinks, cocktails great and everything. Drinks, I've been yeah. seeing people having really lovely cocktails. Good, good, good. Yeah, the menu's all, yeah. you know, been, been redeveloped. So, yeah, it's a beautiful place to come and eat and socialise. Yeah. Um, and you can pay something forward as well if you want to. Perfect. Now, you are um, the founder of Social Bite. Uh, yeah, yeah, co-founder. And co have been doing it for? Uh, we set up Social Bite about seven years ago. Um, so, yeah. Yes, I'm good for you. Yeah, so it started as a little sandwich shop on Rose Street and then kind of, yeah, it's kind of grown arms and legs from there. And so you, the one in Rose Street then went into the one at Shandwick Place? Yep, and then two in Glasgow, one in Aberdeen. Wow. Um, good. Kitchen Livingston, this restaurant, and then we've obviously done different things. Um, the Sleep in the Park events have been yeah. major events for us and also um, the, the Social Bite Village project uh, was another big project in Granton. So yeah, lots of different things. Fantastic. Yeah. So um, what was your vision for... How did you, this all come about? The restaurant? No, the whole Social thing about bite. being um, um, like looking after homeless. Well, to be honest, when we opened the little sandwich shop, um, a young guy called Pete, who was 19, he was homeless, um, he came into Social Bite and he asked us if he could have a job. Mm -hmm. um, and we thought, why not? We gave him a job in the kitchen. Um, and he worked really hard, uh, got promoted, another job opened up. And uh, we asked him if he knew anybody else and he suggested yeah. his brother Joe. So then we took Joe on. Um, oh. And then another job came up and we asked them if they knew anybody else and they suggested another guy who was homeless called John. Yeah. Um, so it kind of almost started by accident and so yeah, there's never been a grand vision behind any of it. It's all just been one little thing after the next. So what's your vision for Social Bite now? The, the restaurant's obviously relaunched tonight so that's a big focus of ours. Um, we're going to take our sleep out events and um, try and maybe take them out with Scotland. Um, we're going to be announcing something about that quite soon. Um, so yeah, that will keep me busy for this year and then see what happens. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio, for example, he's very committed to um, contributing. He's got a charity as well, mm, yeah. Homeless. Uh, well, his well is together. more focused on um, climate change. Um, so yeah, but we did have DiCaprio, he came into the previous incarnation of this restaurant um, in late 2016. Um, so yeah, so um, that was an, obviously an amazing experience. Okay. Uh, but yeah, his passion is really around climate change. Amazing. And George Clooney's coming as well. Yeah, he came into the sandwich shop, yeah. yeah. that's good. Um, yeah. There's a competition on with George Clooney. I remember actually entering that competition, but I didn't actually get oh, unlucky. anywhere unlucky. close. Unlucky. <laughs> unlucky. Yeah. Well, there was a, we did the same one for Clooney and DiCaprio. DiCaprio yeah. sold more vouchers, so really? we, we told him that when he arrived and he was, yeah. he was happy that he beat Clooney. So. Um, and so, what, what, in your opinion, what makes people homeless you know there's a lot of people that are pretty humble to actually take any food um, offers is that the case do they don't turn up or do you have to can you convince them to um, well it's a very much an open door policy so you know people just drop in as they want to mm -hmm. um, 
So yeah, but yeah, in terms of what makes the homeless, it's kind of quite a whole host, yeah, yeah. host of reasons. But quite often, people suffer trauma when they're kids, and mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of it's time for them. Yeah. Oh wow, you are doing a fantastic job. Thank you. It's brilliant, honestly. So young as well. Thanks Thank so you. so Thanks much. For coming again. Thank so, you. so much. Well, guys, I hope you found that really formative. I really enjoyed meeting Josh. What an amazing guy. Absolutely just you know it's, it's that to him for what he's done in Scotland and maybe now that I've interviewed him then I might get a chance to see George Clooney who knows <laughs> and I'm just joking <laughs> anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that drop a comment in the box below please subscribe like and share all that jazz I keep saying that and I get around for it as well so maybe I need to stop saying it I'll catch you next week guys thank you so so much for watching